So does anyone, everyone notice that this street, the two edges of the street are parallel with each other and they're drawn in red. And you can see how red it is. And see how this side of the building has red dots and that side of the building has red dots and this and this. And if I put a little B street, I drew it in black. So there's black dots, right? So in this, this world that we're gonna make, we're gonna make everything perfectly like lined up in parallel with, you, with each other, cool? And it'll help us kind of figure out how you can make the space. Obviously everything in the world isn't all lined up parallel with each other, but once you make the space, then you can like shift and turn things, cool. I want you to have the small piece of paper on top of the big piece of paper. And just go ahead before we get started, just we're not, I don't need to have you guys tape it down. I mean, obviously if you happen to have tape near you, that's great, but we're not gonna waste the time to tape it. Just mark off where this paper is on here so that if it gets shifted and moved, you can kind of put it back in place. You know, maybe if this is the width of one ruler here, right? Slide it down the width of two rulers and do your best. We don't have to make this mathematically perfect, but try to make sure this is evenly spaced from the edge so that this is a real horizontal, right? And then I want you to draw a line on your paper, but then draw it onto the big paper that's underneath it. Cool, so can you see, put a dot outside on one side and put a dot outside on the other one. This here, this is our horizon line, which is AKA your eye level. And there's a video uh, that I put in the um, Linescape examples slideshow that is cool. It has a nice little visual explaining this, but we'll talk more and more about why it's called your eye level. Vanishing point B, vanishing point A, this horizontal line is the horizon line. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw B Street. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it in perspective, which means that these two parallel lines are gonna look like they vanish to the same point. And I'm gonna just extend two lines. Let's see. So that line that I just drew there vanished to B point. And I'm gonna draw another one. And it vanished to B point as well. And I just sort of eyed how I'm imagining how thick the road is, right? So this is like B cool. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna extend these lines. I'm going to draw A street. And I'm going to go like this. Okay, so I'm going to imagine that. So basically, it's like kind of like this. Can you kind of see? I mean, this is like a map, right? But this is in perspective. So here's B street, and there's A street. So I can either draw a line on this side to imagine A street, or I could draw it on this side, right? Yeah, I'm going to draw it like this. And I'm going to try to like make it look like it's about the same thick, approximately the same thickness as B Street. So I'm just eyeing this. Let's see if I drew that. If I drew this as that. That looks like A Street would be thicker than B Street, right? So I'm going to just like eye it down here. There, what do you think? Can you see it? <laughs> Two intersections? Yeah, right? And if it's an intersection, if I like, I want to erase away this stuff here. Cool. I'm imagining there's a, uh, before I draw the building and the boxes, I'm going to tape out on the ground where they are, right? Because can you kind of see that this is just like a, a flat plane? You see it, Christina? <laughs> Do you? Like, does it look like two little streets in perspective, like going back like this? Okay, so I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna tape out. I need to put a package here, right? I need to put a box here, I need to put a box here, I need to put a big building here, and I need to put a long skinnier building here, right? Does that make sense? I'm gonna tape out where they go on the ground. So I'm not just gonna sketch them in anyway. They're gonna vanish to, um, so I'm drawing these sides of the, these B sides, they're going to vanish to, they're parallel to the B street. So I'm going to draw some lines. I want these to look like they're close to the weirdo thing where I'm like, I work for Amazon and I'm delivering a case of, I don't know, paper towels. Then I have to drop it off at this corner. Okay. 
but they first told me, Amazon told me, I don't know why they're really weird and really strict, but they said, you got to tape off on the ground where you're going to put the box first. Okay. So I just extended these two lines here, right? And see how they both look like. They don't just look like it. They actually, I don't know how big I'm going to make them, but see how I like kind of ran them out from there. And I'm deciding how big the box is. Can you guys see that on the ground? And now I need to do the other set of parallel sides, the box that's on the ground. And so this is vanishing back to the, the point for A over here. So I extend this here and see, this is the one corner in perspective. Here's the other one. I'm gonna erase how that went past there now. And now I have to decide how big it is. If I wanted it, if I drew the other line like this, it would look like a real rectangular box. Yeah, you see that? If I drew the other edge of it, that looks more like it would be a square box on the ground. Do you think so, Sumner? What do you think? If I made, if I went like this, it would look like a real rectangular box, really bigger going that way, right? Do you guys see that little power of illusion? This is an illusion, so exciting. So now I'm drawing this other side, okay? And I'm basically this, this line actually, if I extended it, it vanishes to that point there. Cool. So here is the box. Actually, it's not the box. It's the taped out area where I'm supposed to drive down or ride down on my bicycle with the, with the box and put it right there in the little space. You feeling it, Kyle? Okay. So here's the deal. These are the corners in perspective. These two vanish here. These two vanish there, right? It's that's just on a flat surface. The box, all I've sort of drawn is like this that I'm going to be able to place on the surface there. I need to sprout up the sides, right? It's going to bust into space, go into the third dimension. You ready? So, in one point and two point perspective, the vertical sides of something, like of a wall or a box or windows, they're really vertical. They're for real vertical. So for real vertical, this is your for real <laughs> um, horizontal. It's the horizon line. That's your true horizontal line. And these are the illusions of horizontal lines going back in space. So what I want to do is I want to, I'm just going to sprout up some verticals here, right? See how it sort of starts to burst into space this way? Yeah. And I want those to be real vertical. So the best thing you could do if you took a ruler, if you want to make sure that they're truly vertical and not kind of little diagonals, if I just line up my right angle of my ruler, if you happen to have a nice right angle of your ruler, and I'm going to make sure that this is a right angle with the horizon line, and I sprout that up straight. And then I go over here, I'm making sure this is lined up and that's a right angle. And I line it up with this here. And so I'm getting the four corners here. Sort of like that. And I've sprouted up this corner, this corner, this corner, and you can see through it and you can see the back corner there too, right? Cool. And I, I'm going to decide how tall it is, right? But so when I've drawn what's on the ground, like, can you guys see if like this here, this edge is like this one here, yeah? And this one is this one here, yeah? This is this, and this is this. So if I want to draw this one up here, right? So I have this, 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 right? If I want to draw this one, this is parallel to this one. They're on the same plane. Any, any line that's parallel on here, right? They're all going to vanish to that point. Cool? You get it? So I can just decide like how tall it is, like this tall, right? Pretty tall, right? So I'm going to, that's how tall the back end of this is, right? So if this is like, shoop, and I cut it off there, right at that point. This, I'm not gonna just draw any old line here. I'm not gonna draw this like this. This needs to look like it vanishes back to point B too. So I'm going to make sure that this one vanishes to there. Cool. So this line, if this vanishes to there, I'm kind of like extending it out. And now I just need to hit it, get it until it hits right here. So now that's the top of this one. Cool, got it. And now I wanna close this side, right? I wanna close this side. 
this vanishes to there, so that one's going to vanish to there too. So I guess, I guess I'd like a little recap here. The second I put down these roads, I established a plane, and now everything's kind of I'm building things up off of it. I can dig a hole down into something. I can make things come off the side of stuff. So if I want to make this so like I can't see through this. Right, make this a solid wall box here. I erase that. And I could actually, if I wanted to say, you can't see through here, right? I've closed off this side of this box. You can still kind of see my light little bits there. See it? How it's like sitting in the space. And now this one here is parallel with these two, right? You see it? Cool. So I'm going to make I have this corner here. And you can see as as I get closer and closer to the horizon line, the angle of these this is more severe and it gets less and less. It, it gets a it's a very subtle. So this vanishes back to there, but I only need it to hit here, right? Because that's that's the back wall there. Okay, and if I've done this right, this this and the vanishing point will all line up. That I'm actually. There you go. I'm just sort of making sure that's in there. All right. So what happens is we you can see when a square is this little that I taped off on the bottom here, when it's farther away from your eye level, it's it's fatter, right? It's like taller and fatter this way. And as it gets closer to the eye level, you see you see less and less of it. And as it gets closer and closer to your eye level, it'll get you see less and less and less and less. And then it'll actually start getting you'll see the underside of the box as it goes above your eye level. Cool. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to figure out where the building is on the ground is for the B vanishing point. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to say, all right, the building's going to be really close to the road there. And if I draw this side that's parallel to it, it's going to vanish. So if the top of the building needs to also vanish to here. So this is going to go vanishing down. It's above my eye level. Now it vanishes down, right? And so I'd sprout this up. This would be here. This is off my drawing, so I wouldn't need to have to be doing this, but I just want to show you guys. So like this side vanishes back to this point. I kind of think of them as like little fighter jets that launch from here and they, ah, so they have to hit that target there. Right, and then so then this if this is the back of the building here, this is an intense perspective, and then this side here, right? My paper is shifting here. This would vanish to here. This back side would vanish to there too, right? And this one hits back there. And so this is it's hard for you to see this. This gets a little weird. But I don't know if you guys can see. This is the top of the box. We don't see it. It's above our eye level. Can you kind of see that? But this would be, this is out of my drawing here, but this would be the top of the building. Right? Can you see that? So it's like a big, right? But like this plane and this plane, this edge, they're all, they're all on this side plane, they all vanish to here. They're parallel with this, this is why, and they're parallel with the sides of the road. They all vanish to the same B point there. See in my drawing? So this drawing, the, the vanishing points aren't in the drawing. And most of the time in the two point perspective, if it's, unless it's some weird fisheye distorted thing, usually the vanishing points aren't in there. That's not how we see, right? In the one point perspective, you'll see it. 